We want to solve this by using the quadratic formula. So I have 0 equals x squared plus 4x plus 2. I've already written out the quadratic formula, and that's assuming that you have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So we have something written in this form. The a is always in front of the squared variable, so a is 1 in this case. b is in front of the x, so b is 4 in this case, and then c is the one that's not attached to any variables. In our problem, we have 2. So again, we said that a is 1, B is 4, and C is 2 based on the problems they want us to solve. To do this by quadratic formula, you just take all these numbers and you put it directly into, into the, the formula, and we're going to simplify it. So I get negative 4 plus or minus 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 2. All that's going to be over 2 times 1. So here it is with all the numbers uh, put in there. B isn't put in twice, I have the A there, C is here, 2 times A on the bottom. Now you want to simplify this down as far as you can go. So if the number inside the square root can be broken down further, you do want to do that as well to get the uh, most simplified answer. So next, we're going to do negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 8, and then I have a 2 on the bottom. We're going to keep on going, we want to simplify this further. Negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 8 over 2. Now, square root of 8, that can be written as 4 times 2. The square root of 4 is 2, so therefore a 2 can come outside of the radical. So I want to write this the most simplified as possible. So again, the, the 8 is 4 times 2, the square root of 4, the 2 that comes outside. So this would be the most simplified that, that square root of 8 could be. Now that I'm done, what I need to do is I'm going to take that 2 on the bottom and both of these I can divide by 2. So I'm splitting the fraction up and each one of them I'm dividing individually by 2. And then I can reduce that to get negative 2 plus or minus radical 2. And this would be as far as I could go. So this right here, negative 2 plus or minus radical 2, that would actually solve this equation for x.